would like to welcome you all to this afternoon service celebrating Kent's life. It is going to begin with a presentation by the AOH, followed by the Cudjahawken VFW, and then a service by Father Bill Grogan. Following Father Grogan's remarks, there are some family members and friends who have some remarks prepared to share with us. After the service, we'll have lunch, and then during lunch, anyone else who would like to come up and share a thought or memory would be welcome to do so.
We, the members of Huntock and Post 1074 Veterans Farm Board of the United States, are here assembled to pay a lasting tribute of respect to our party comrades. When the call of our country was heard, Comrade Chabot answered, the self was forgotten and the cause of greater good. As a brave man, he marched away with the abiding faith in his God, his country, and his flag. The red of our country's flag was made redder by his heroism. The white more seamlessly pure by the motives which impelled it. And in the starry field of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified by the service he has given for American ideals. The chaplain will invoke the divine blessing. O oh God, Father of us all, we here extend these final earthly tribute to our beloved comrade. Accept our prayers in behalf of the soul of thy servant departed. Welcome him to thy house to rest in peace. Look with mercy upon the loved ones bereaved by his passing. Comfort and console them through thine own tenderness. These things we ask humbly in thy name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> one by one, as the years roll on, we are called upon to fulfill these sad duties of respect to our departed comrades. Detail. Oh. The officers and members of Comstock and Post 1074 Veteran of Far Wars, you will now perform the last duties of your station. Comrade Junior Vice Command. On behalf of Post 1074, Coach Hawkins, Veterans of Fort Worth, the United States, I present this rose in tribute as a symbol of heart. I place these flowers as a symbol of purity upon this memorial. May each future generation emulate the unselfish devotion to each to un unselfish devotion to duty, even to the last of our comrades. Public, for whose integrity our comrades of the Veterans of Foreign Wars enlisted and served, we place upon this memorial the emblem of our country, a country whose arms are always open to shelter the oppressed. Veterans of Foreign Wars, the United States, we'd like to present this block for your family. Thank you. For your father's service to our Thank organization. You. <coughs> Members of Veteran Fort Farm Wars, post 1074, will now render a silent salute. Detail, phrase and arms. Order arms. Right face. Forward march.
Maybe you'll pray with me if you will. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, in whom all your people find mercy and all your saints find joy, we pray to you today for our brother Ken, whom we honor in this memorial service. In your kindness, deliver him from the bonds of death. Admit him instead to the joyful company of your saints. And raise him up on the last day to rejoice in your presence forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We trust in our God's goodness and so can pray in a single voice as Jesus prayed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Ken in sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him last day. We give you thanks for all the blessings that you bestowed on Ken in this life, for they are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Jesus. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to receive your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and we can forever. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful and are attentive to the prayers of the humble. And so hear us today as we cry out to you in our need and strengthen our hope in your lasting goodness. <coughs> Eternal rest grant to him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and your minds and the knowledge and the love of God and of the Son, our Lord Jesus. And may the love of God and the peace of the Lord Jesus bless us all and console us all and gently wipe away every tear from our eyes. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Can may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to that heavenly city at new and eternal Jerusalem. Amen. Well, I've heard there was a secret chord David played in the please the Lord, but you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, the fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, hallelujah, oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. But maybe I've been here before. I've seen this room and I've walked this floor. You know I used to live alone before I knew ya. And I've seen your flag on the marble arch. And love is not a victory march. It's cold and it's so broken. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Maybe there's a God above, but I've ever learned from love was how to shoot somebody else who outdrew you. And it's not a cry that you hear at night. It's not somebody who's seen the light. It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah.
afternoon. I am Caitlin, Ken's youngest granddaughter. When I think of my pup up, there are many words that come to mind, like strength, survivor, provider, optimistic, jokester, but most importantly, I think of friend. He was a friend to everyone he met, even if it was just for one time. I will forever cherish the memories that us as his grandchildren have to share with him, like our weekend breakfast dates, playing rummy, hangman, and also letting us hang onto the steering wheel of his car thinking that we could drive and dressing like Santa on Christmas Eve. At this moment, I would like to read a poem by Francis and Kathleen Cello. God saw you getting tired and a, cor a cure was not to be. So he put his arms around you and whispered, come to me. With tearful eyes, we watched you as you slowly slipped away. And though we loved you dearly, we could not make you stay. Your golden heart stopped beating, your tired hands put to rest. God broke our hearts to prove to us he only takes the best. God took my pup up in his own true way. In life, he was a firework and a firework in his passing. I want to thank everyone for their kind words and love and support for my grandfather and my family. It amazes me to know how far he has come in his 90 years of life. Kuncha Hawken was the beginning of his happiness.